What is up guys? This is Justin aka FMDG and I'm here with an experiment video. Um, kind of wanted to see what would happen with a US team in England. So I took a couple teams, swapped them around. Let's check it out. All right guys, welcome back. I have this is a, I wanted to see what would happen in um, if I took a good uh, U.S. team, swapped it with a team in England, and uh, you know, sort of see what happened. So what I did is I simmed uh, 20 years in the future with breaks every five years so we can see what happened. But this is how we started. I took Atlanta United and moved them, uh, switched them with uh, Sunderland. So as you can see here, Skybet League One has got Atlanta United. Sunderland is over in uh, U.S. Premier League. I kind of felt those might be equal, but we'll see. You know, this is what this whole thing is. So what I did is uh, did nothing with the team, nothing whatsoever, except go into the pregame editor and swapped the um, and swapped Atlanta for Sunderland. No other updates were made to either team. I'm not sure how that will affect rules or anything like that, but kind of wanted to see. So let's go ahead and go five years into the future and see where they ended up. All right, we are now July 1st, 2024. Um, I've been actually Jones in the peak at this for a while. I did uh, set it up to do five year saves and then save them you know, separately from each other. Really wanted to peak, but didn't. So this will be my first time looking at it. But let's see where uh, Sunderland is doing. They're in the United States Premier League. So that's where they were to start out with. Um, let's check out their history. So yeah, oh, oh interesting. Uh, 16th, 13th, 15th, 15th place finishes. And it looks like a 12th place finish in the current season. So interesting. Um, how that kind of worked out there. Let's look and see uh, what transfers they've done. Going back here. Looks like they brought in a couple of US players and sold. Got rid of or loaned out a bunch of players their first season. Nothing too crazy. Uh, then they went out and spent money the next season. Uh -huh. Kevon Lambert from Phoenix Rising hometown team like it bring me some celtic let's see who's their big big guy here modo Bar barrow he has left he's at the gambia Ooh, interesting team name uh let's see how he did with their big signing and then oh he just left it looks like uh oh wait no he's still i don't know i figured that out 2.1 million for an attacking midfielder, not the best numbers, but getting lots of lots of love there. Um, Kayvon Lambert, Phoenix Rising guy, as I said, my local team right now. Uh, he's not, he's done pretty good there. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see who else they've gotten rid of. Any names here that sound familiar? It looks like just a bunch of young kids. Uh, any of these names stick out to you? Comment down below, and we can go further and check them later. Uh, second season sold. Got rid of six million. Oh, Mumba they sent to Bayern Munich. I wonder how he did in his time there. They loaned him out to LA Galaxy. Didn't do anything except for that year. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Oh no, wait, I can't read. It was just a bunch of things. So he did, loaned out, let's see, the first season here, he loaned out to Las Vegas. Did okay. Um, Then spent a season at Sunderland in the Premier League. Uh, two man of the matches. Uh, not the worst, not the best. Okay, interesting. Let's go into 22-23 season. Spent just a little bit of money. 
Sent out a little bit of money. None of these names sound familiar. Chris McGuire went for a free. Uh, nothing really interesting there. Didn't really bring in anybody. And nothing. Oh, the couch went out on loan. If he's any gooch. Went out to Colorado, so he came back to the U.S. where he initially was playing. And current season, these nothing too crazy. They didn't go nuts in terms of uh, in terms of anything there. Let's see how they got on their schedule. First season in, just not well at all. Interesting. Maybe I ought to try this with a championship side. I did go Sunderland because they do have a little special place in my heart. Uh, follow me on Twitch last for FM19. I did a saving Sunderland and ended up getting canned. Or not really canned. I left because they were going to can me. But better the second season. Good start. Bad finish. Bad start. Decent finish there. Some wins in a row. Um, See how else they did. Anything no honors their head coaches go. So Parkinson was sacked. They replaced him with Hank Doot. Interesting. So no one really gets too crazy there. Um, still got some a little bit of money in the bank. Need to change this. Uh, process of a board takeover. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's see how Atlanta. They're still they're in the championship, so they had some success because they started in League One. So at least they had one uh, promotion. You know, League One, they won it right off the bat. Oh, came in third and second in the. Oh, and then they got promoted, promoted, and then relegated, uh, or promoted. Oh man, not bad, not bad. Let's see what they've done in terms of uh, transfers in and out. Not much the first year. Getting rid of Julian Grissel. Russell. Whoa, okay. <laughs> now they brought in the big money. DeAndre Yeldon. Yeah, so they spent a little bit of cash. Let him play for a while and then they sold him oof oof that's a little bit of a loss for someone to pay play 22 games for you oof yeah not good not good there on that uh let's see who else any other names there names going out they made seven million Franco Escobar, La Bruge. Then 21-22 uh, season, bring in Simmons from Man City on a free. Let's see, uh, Stanford, okay, from Leeds. I wonder how he did. Still there, good. Uh, hasn't played hardly at all. That's too bad. Man. And I spend all that money, you better get them playing some games for sure. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, 60 million, Brian. I believe this is the first season in the Premier League. Okafor, not bad. Did they, what have they done with him? Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy at all. Guys are not playing. Interesting. Bamboo. Bamboo. I'm sure I'm pronouncing them wrong. My American's bleeding through. I at least played several of their games. Fender, so not, not bad. I mean, there's better numbers to be had, but I mean, they didn't do so well. De Silva. Uh, let's see how he did. He's gone. Played one season, they did make a profit on him. 6.57, not very good. But to get a profit out of that, that's not bad. Uh, these are the guys they sold for 3.7 million. 
Holy cow, this money, money to be spent here. Spending monies. Adam Lozak. What'd he do? Not all that good. Not all that good. <laughs> uh, interesting, I didn't notice this. Atlanta United 2, their you know feeder team, they kept sending them back to the U.S. That sucks. Plane rides back and forth. Uh, who do they sell? Ezekiel Barco. It's like they had him. They sold him to Bayern Munich. Uh, he wasn't a bad player for them. So it looks like, I mean, they made some money off of him. They ended up helping to get them promoted and did well in the first season in the Premier League, but not well enough to get uh, to stay. Maybe they were forced to sign or to sell him or something. Current season, let's see, they got rid of some money there. Um, Omlin, what he was probably their goalie first season. Not the best, the worst, not the best, but um, interesting, interesting. Let's see what other things they did. Did they, they won Skyback lead one? Uh, head coaches, <laughs> Frank DeVore, still their head coach. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> We're still playing in the Campionas Cup. Like I said, it didn't change anything, so I guess they'd still somehow be in there. Weird. Weird. Okay. Um... See have they they're still in their facilities. So he's been saying that's long trip. Uh let's look at the landmarks. Nothing crazy happened. Yeah, okay. Let's go another five years to twenty twenty nine and see where everyone is. All right, guys, welcome back. We are now first of July twenty twenty nine, ten years into the future. Let's see where our friends in Sunderland are. United States Championship, okay. So I believe that's where they were when we left off before. Oh no, they were in the Premier League. Right, yeah, we start, okay. They just got rallied, that's right. They were mid-table. Uh, never went better than 12th. End up getting relegated in this year. The worst place finish. And I believe the only reason that says 26th is this is, you know, before the season started. So in July. So, yeah, nothing really too crazy there. Let's check the head coaches. Oh, still got Bento. Oh, he was just appointed when we left off before. Check any landmarks going on. Not much. Just. Captains changing, boring, boring, boring. Uh, transfers, let's go 2024 season five. So yeah, uh, not much in terms of transfers. If you see someone you know, hit the like button so that I know that you uh, saw someone. Uh, Velasco, let's see. You will find that name sound familiar. He's a region, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I thought I saw a name in here that looked familiar. Comment down below. Imbleton, that's the one. He went out. Wickham Wanders. Left on a loan, then went on a free. Okay, so yeah, we let him get away. Um, he wasn't playing much of anything other than that first year at Sunderland. Okay. Uh, let's see. No one really else. I'm sure most of the team is recycled from this point on. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Peter McCarthy sold to Seattle. Bought him for 64K. Sold for a tiny profit. So, well done. They did them well. But playing some midfield striker. Getting some goals. So, that, that's not bad. Uh, let's see who else we've got. One big coming in. Let's check the Rafael Rodriguez coming from Benfica. Still with the club. 
2.7 mil, and of course they don't play him. I don't understand this. Why, why bring in for some big money and then not play? Um, I don't get it. Okay, let's look. Uh, 26, 27 season, not really spending any money, kind of tolling around in the United States Premier League. Any of these names look familiar? Man, Man City, Airman United, Region. And none of those names. I came in and went out on loan. Ruby, 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 Soho. Lloyd Walmsley. Bunch of regions coming in, going out. Okay. 27 28 season. Again, not much happening in terms of money. Everything's kind of status quo. 27 29 or 28 29 season. Not really anything. Devon Lambert went out. Bought him in that first season. Let's see what he went on and did for them. Uh, I mean, he was a full-time starter all that time, putting up decent numbers, getting some goals here and there. Not gangbuster, but you know, doing the job he was brought in to do. He's not a goal-scoring threat, but he's still getting it done. I would say that's not bad. I mean, they took a million dollar loss on him, but had him for what, eight seasons? Or they sent him to De Bordeaux. G. De, De Bordeaux. Uh, let's see this. And then this last season, 29 and 30, which is not even started yet. Doing some things, dropping some payroll because in the championship now, um, I don't think they did much of anything. You see, 24, 25. U.S. League Cup, they got bounced out. U.S. Cup second round, quarterfinal, went out in the quarterfinal that year. Uh, the U.S. League Cup, U.S. League Cup, U.S. Cup, went out in the League Cup, and a couple of days later in the U.S. Cup, so bad showing in the Cups there. U.S. Cup, League Cup fourth round, quarterfinal. Not really making any headway in any of the cups, really. Yeah, U.S. Cup fourth round, League Cup fourth round, League Cup second round, third round. We got to the quarterfinal in the League Cup, lost both legs, and U.S. Cup lost in the. I'm sorry, yeah, it was U.S. Cup lost quarterfinal, League Cup lost in the fourth round, and then the most current season, not to be played yet. A testimonial there. Okay, uh, let's go and check see where Atlanta is. In the third in the Premier Okay, it's alphabetical order. So they're still in the Premier League. Frank DeVore is still, uh, still the coach. Not bad. Uh, bank bounce a little bit in the uh, wrong direction. But let's see how they've done. Okay, we left off. They had just gotten demoted. Uh, worked their way up, won promotion, immediately demoted again. And they're basically a championship side. Um, maybe I had a... I had a hmm. I might need to do another one, take a championship club over, but I don't know who Atlanta seems to be. Maybe LA FC would be a better team to take. Let's look at their transfers. 24-25. Brought in some players. Nathan Wood from Huddersfield Town. Not bad. Gone now. Newcastle. Sold 77 million. I mean, they feel like they're making some profit every year. Joseph Martinez. Out to LA. Omlin. Not bad. Not bad. Whoops. Direction. No, that was the right direction. Sorry. Look at that. Bringing in 92, selling 169. Nuts. But they're not bringing in one good player. They're bringing in a bunch of decently priced players. So not trying to bankrupt themselves off of one player. Bringing in some, you know, at the time, this was four years ago, so these players were hitting their prime. The players they were selling. Bullock. See what did they get him for? I remember they signed him. Thirty-three sold for forty-five, so twelve million dollar. And Lester even got it. 
decent return on him too. Not the worst. Not the worst. Help them get promoted. Uh, let's see. 26-27 season. They spent more. 're nothing too crazy okay so I mean nothing out of the check their landmarks as well keep one of the Campionas cup uh, had takeover I don't see any new stadium of course their stadium they're in now the Mercedes-Benz Stadium is pretty new if I'm correct Arthur blank leaves new president he's still the president unemployed. I just find it interesting when I can click on the president or owner of a team. Oh, new president. So he left. Okay. Um, not sure what else there is to see there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here. This is about 20 minutes already. I'll do a part two soon. But uh, thank you very much. And there you have it. That was uh, part one of my experiment swapping Atlanta United and Sunderland with leagues. Uh, seeing where we were 10 years into the future, uh, come back tomorrow. I tomorrow, tomorrow, the next day, we'll see. Um, I'm going to do another, I'm going to do 15 to 20 years in the future, see where they let on. But thank you so much. If you like the video, please smash that like button down below. It really helps me out. Also, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. You should have, right? You should have. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I go live. But yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.